Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Gunslinger Spawn, issue number four, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now, my voice sounds a little bit raspy, please forgive me, because you know I have to deliver this content to the boys and to the girls, too. And if you like the content we're throwing up, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. It'll help Rated Comics to make more comic book reviews and comic book related content. And it'll help support the channel and Rated Comics to make more content like this. We begin this issue with the clown telling Gunslinger Spawn, get on your feet, boy. I like looking into a man's eyes when I'm talking to him. I'm, why am I talking like Gunslinger Spawn for the clown? I gotta do a different voice personification for him. But you know what? Spawn has collided with this hellish villain dozens of times before. But for Gunslinger, this will be his first encounter and Clown has a proposal for him. You know how many men I've seen walk away from their better interests? But you, Gunslinger, strike me as smarter than that. And what makes you think that, boy? Clown offers Gunslinger Spawn what he wants. And he wants to return, go back to his time in the 1800s. And Clown is like, I can help you with that. And the Dakota's like, wait a minute, he's my target. You wanted me to soften him up? That's what I'm doing. Shut up, girl, you're talking too long. And he chokes her. You don't ever interrupt me again. Get your hands off me, old man. Or what? You'll do to me, Dakota. What will you do? So they have a little short little scaffold. She morphs into a dinosaur. And he just tosses her out the way. And Dakota's like, if you were going to take over, then why'd you send me? Because he thought she was ready. And clearly, she's not. Some crazy mindset he has. But whatever. Leave me alone, girl. Come talk to me when you're ready to listen. I forget you, clown. You gotta love her spirit, don't you? Now, where were we, gunslinger? That's right. We're talking about taking over the world or something like that. You know what? Just come spit it out, boy. Like, you come, you beating around the bush. And I'm starting to lose my patience, clown, says Gunslinger Spawn. But these little clown minions start taking off Gunslinger Spawn's hat and start toying with it. And Gunslinger's like, man, give me my hat back. In due time, he's going to use the hat as leverage. But let me introduce you to my friend, my little companion, the Violator. He and I go way back. So if you're thinking I don't have ample protection, you'd be wrong. And Gunslinger takes one of the clowns, little clowns, and tosses it at the Violator and says, I said, give him my hat, boy. <laughs> That's funny. Now, Gunslinger knows if he's going to make his move, now is the time with Dakota out the picture. He has assessed the odds. The baby clowns he thinks are just pawns and they don't pose a serious threat. And the clown, he's faced overconfident villains like this type before. And he's better than them. It's the violator that he's concerned with. If he can spill some of the blood, he might deter the rest of them and slow them down so he can make a break. So he gets behind the violator's back and stabs him, stabs him. But that was his plan, but Violet's like, get off of me. Slashes him to the ground, punches him in his midsex. You can tell this blood spewing out of his mouth. But in reality, Gunslinger never stood a chance. His beating lasts for several more minutes. Clown's like, enough! I think he's got the point now. Now, on your feet, cowboy, I'm gonna ask you again. Man, I'll get up when I'm ready, fat man. Let's be clear about something, Gunslinger. I'm the alpha around here, so you better stop barking. You're beginning to upset my other dogs. And he's talking about his other minion clowns. I hate to have them unleash them on you. And Gunslinger's like, man, you were a coward hiding behind the clowns and that violator thing. So that's okay, bro. I would do the same if I was afraid. Now, Clown knows he has to carefully weigh his options because knowing Gunslinger is one of the is of immense value to him. He can't stand in subordination, but he won't tolerate being considered inferior. So he whispered a single syllable to these little minions, go, and it triggers the true nature of these hellions, these clowns, that they just gnaw at Gunslinger like, with these sharp, razor sharp teeth. And Gunslinger's like, damn, I was way wrong about these little clowns. They are not just little clowns that are just horrible to look at. They just gnaw at them, gnaw at them, gnaw at them. And the clown is like, but leave a little room, bro. Like, y'all haven't eat today, but he's unconscious, relax. So they carry on Gunslinger Spawn, and they're about to do something with it. Such a pity. These Spawns are always think they're better than they are. And this one's too stubborn to know we both crave the exact same thing, which is get off this damn planet. But he will, and his eyes go red. He just needs the right motivation. And a little fresh air in his face. So they hang Gunslinger Spawn, chain him, chain him up, tie him up on his wrist, and they wait for him to go conscious again. As he awakes, Clown is like, look, man, I want to commend you on your how check. I'm trying to get your weapons, but you were clever enough to fuse him with the simia. So you're the only one that can remove the weapons for your hat, just like your bullet belts. But those won't budge either. So I'll give you credit where credit's due, Gunslinger. So you might as well look good while you're hanging there. So he puts his hat back on Gunslinger's head. Don't look surprised, Gunslinger. You're not the only one necro powers. And, and Clown continues to talk. And you know how I got those powers? You know what gave me these powers? Spawn. 
He thought he figured a way to get rid of me, but guess what? The opposite happened. As long as I was being shot into the time rip, the explosion created everyone else in that direction. So I took a little bit of power off everyone in that time rip. And that's a reference to Spawn issue 301. So Clown ends it with, do you know how much power that is when it's combined? Enough to split myself into two personas. So call me Clown and Violator. I am one and the same. Your chance of survival is to not even be here, not in this time frame. So you need to listen to me, Hellspawn. You are the weakest Hellspawn ever. And you've been and you've acquired your power illegally. So you need me. And so we have to work together, Gunslinger. I can't get what I want without you, and you can't get what you want without me. Because the Ripping time is only going one direction, bringing people here. No one is able to go the other way because the dead zones are locked. Spawn did that. And the only one with the key is Spawn. And your mortal enemy collects you also, Cogs. So ask yourself, Gunslinger, do you think for one second that if Cog gets his hands on Spawn first, he'll offer you the same deal I am? No, he'll cut you out. But I am your friend here. So that's the proposal he gives to Gunslinger. You'll never get back home or see anyone you ever cared about. Spawn can't do it, and Cog or anyone else doesn't give a shit about you or your once gunslinger. I don't care about it either, says Clown, but I'm sure you have a reason to go back home, and I give you the best chance of going back home. Like it or not, we're stuck with each other, so we have to work with one another. He takes out a gun, looks at Gunslinger, he's like, so hell, Spawn, what's it going to be? Surely Sauron wishes you were back. And Gunslinger's like, I can't. Of course you can. Otherwise, you just die slowly on the branch. Clown gives Gunslinger what, what the plan is, what they're supposed to do. And he's still tied up, and these cl little clown minions are like, we're ready to buy that chief. You try to do something stupid. So Clown is like, look, though you prefer you didn't, I like another sharpshooter at my side. Besides, your job is easy. Get close to spawn, and when the time comes, you stab him in the back. What a great, fantastic issue. This questions what Gunslinger's motive is when he was working with Jessica in the Scorch. I don't know if Gunslinger's gonna go through with it, but this is compelling storytelling. This was an awesome issue. And by the way, link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. And in my personal opinion, this was a classic comic. I thought this was a fantastic read. With that being said, Gunslinger spot issue number four. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also, if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.